What's up, my beautiful people? This is Galactic Goddess Tarot, and today we will be doing channeled messages from your person for the sign of Leo. So if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, come join our family. And if you would like, give this video a thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it, and it definitely helps out the channel a whole lot. And I just want to take a moment out to say thank you to every single one of you guys who have um, subscribed and liked my videos. I definitely appreciate all the love and support I receive from you guys. And I love you guys so much. The channel is growing so fast. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take a moment out to say thank you. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll jump right into the video for Leo. I do have a white candle lit right in front of us. And I did go ahead and burn some sage before I hit record. Just keep in mind that this video may or may not resonate with you. And that is okay. If the video does not resonate with you. Feel free to watch your moon and your rising sign. And also just keep in mind that not every single card may be your message and that's okay as well. So if the card doesn't apply, just let that shit fly. And I do apologize if you guys hear that snoring, that is my English bulldog, okay? <laughs> but all right, we'll go, we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. Spirit, what would Leo's person like to tell them? Spirit, please give me messages from Leo's person. All right, let's go ahead and split the deck. We have, I want to do this the right way. Ooh, so I feel like this person um, wants to come back into your life um, and they want to go about it the correct way. Like, I feel like... Uh, maybe before when you guys were connected with this person, maybe it was like just a hot mess. Like maybe things just weren't necessarily 100% right. Um, I feel like this person has sat down and really thought about what happened in this connection. Um, and this time around, they want to come back. One, they want to approach you the correct way. They want to give you the approach that you deserve. Um, some of you guys may be even owed an apology from this person. Um, and overall, this person wants to pursue a future with you and they want to go about it the right way. Like this person wants to come back and actually like date you. Like, you know, really like really get to know you. Don't rush things and just take your guys' time with the connection okay I'm thinking about coming to talk to you Ooh. so this person like I said this person does want to reach out to you like this person is um, debating right now how to reach out to you they know that you deserve um, a certain approach and this person wants to make sure that when they approach you they approach you the correct way I feel like maybe this person really messed up in the past and they do want to come back I definitely flat out some of you guys will be getting a full-on apology okay it's like this person's gonna like roll out the red carpet for you and give you like complete like red carpet treatment because that is what you deserve um but this person is debating on how to come talk to you and what they should say um yeah i feel like right now some of them are kind of like um in a stuck energy um maybe I, I kind of want to say for some of them, maybe ego could be getting in the way. Um, but for another handful of you guys, ego is not getting in the way. And this person is honestly like, it probably could happen like any day now, maybe a couple days from now, it could even be a couple weeks from now. But I definitely feel like this per person is planning their approach currently. No, I'm not perfect, but I promise I'm worth it. So I feel like this person maybe made some um, imperfect decisions. None of us are perfect, but I feel like this person maybe have made some decisions um, that necessarily weren't in the best interest of you. Um, and this person wants you to know that, you know, they did make some bad decisions. Um, but in the long run, it, it, they want to show you that they are worth it. They are worth another chance. They're worth your time. Um, I feel like this person wants to come back and they want to prove that to you. They want to prove it to you that they are definitely worth it, okay? Let's see what else we get. I'm thinking about sliding in your DMs. Yeah, like I said, for some of them, um, for some of you guys, this person is really like, I'm talking about like, any day now <laughs> might be reaching out to you um 
they really do want to come talk to you. I feel like this person really misses you, really misses your energy. Um, and regardless of what the outcome is going to be, like whatever your reaction is, I feel like this person is like at, at the point where like they're kind of just ready. They're like, okay, whatever, you know, it's time for me to face my music. If I don't make a move, then nothing will ever happen. Um, I feel like this person, um, it, I feel like this person may be even like typing out messages um, to you and then deleting it because they're scared to just hit send but like I said for some of you guys it is ego standing in the way for others of you guys this person is just honestly scared of what your reaction is going to be you guys may not have ended on the best of terms um and this person's kind of like like psyching themselves out um thinking that you know maybe you're gonna like cuss them out or something <laughs> But we do have lies next. So maybe that's why this person is so scared. Maybe there was um, lies that were told in this connection. Maybe this person was not truthful. Um, for some of you guys, this could have been a third party situation. Maybe this person lied about having another person or something like that. Or maybe started another connection while connected to you. And definitely told some lies to you. And I feel like that's also kind of playing a, a role in why they're scared to come forward because they know they told you lies and leo they know that you know that they lied um so there's really no running from it so it's like if you want to if you want to make this connection work you're gonna have to own up to the lies that you told you're gonna have to start telling the truth um and leo i feel like there's definitely answers that you want i feel like you wouldn't even be willing to move forward in this connection unless like the air is cleared completely i feel like um leo you may be in that type of energy where you're like okay maybe i will maybe i would be open to this connection but not until everything's put out on the table okay and i feel like this person knows that this person knows um like intuitively that that's what you expect and that's what you want from them and that's what you deserve from them um most of all you deserve the truth um and you definitely deserve an apology i'm working on manifesting you so maybe for some of you guys, maybe your person is spiritual, maybe you're spiritual, uh, maybe this person's going through like a spiritual awakening and maybe that's what's making them kind of like um, snap out of it, like um, realizing what they did. Um, and it's kind of like waking them up, almost kind of kind of like shadow work, um, kind of looking at themselves in the mirror and, and seeing that um, the destruction that they cause, not only to you, but to um, their life and, you know, you know. Honestly, I'm just going to be real. Karma's a bitch. Okay? And then, you know, maybe for some of you Leos, maybe you guys are, um, maybe you guys are spiritual. Even if you're not like super, super spiritual, maybe, maybe you do affirmations every day. You know, that's a form of manifestation. Um, so maybe you're, maybe you're manifesting. It could, some of you guys could be manifesting this person, but I definitely feel like for some of you guys, this person is actually manifesting you. I feel like this person has been, um, not necessarily like diving into spirituality, but I definitely feel like this person may be tapping into, um, some type of spirituality type of practices and yeah, they're definitely working on, uh, manifesting this connection and manifesting a, a beautiful outcome with you. Let me put it down right. <laughs> this person wants to come back around and leo they want to put it down okay i feel like for those of you that have been intimate with this person um this person thinks about it a lot okay they think about it a lot and to be honest they miss it <laughs> they miss it maybe your guys's um like sexual connection is very strong maybe it's a I, I do feel like this is a passionate i definitely do feel like a passionate connection um so maybe some of you guys had some like you know really good um really good nights with this person okay <laughs> we're just gonna put it like that and um this person wants to come back they want to come back around and they find out they want to put it down like i feel like they want some alone time with you and they've been fantasizing okay i feel like they fantasize about seeing you face to face again and the things that they want to do to you Ooh, Leo, y'all some little nasties. <laughs> I never felt this way before. I definitely feel like you give this person a feeling that they've never experienced before. Um, I feel like this person um, may have had issues when it comes to love. Maybe this person is scared of love. Um, and I feel like, Leo, maybe you opened the door to that. Maybe open, even open their eyes. And maybe you don't even, I don't even think you realize that you opened their eyes to love. Um, and, and just because your guys' connection um, fell off or you guys are disconnected right now, 
does not mean that this person is not thinking about the experiences and the conversations that they've had with you. I feel like this person really is analyzing your guys' connection overall um, and thinking about a lot of things that you said. And I feel like it's heavy on their mind. Um, it's making them realize that they've never felt this way about anyone before. Um, and that's honestly what's kind of like pushing them to want to come talk to you because they realize the feeling that um, the feeling that they're having is something that they've never experienced. So there's obviously something special about this connection. And there's obviously something special about you, Leo. Aww. You're a beautiful person inside and out. Yeah, Leo, I, I feel like you're overall just a beautiful person. I feel like this person really genuinely loves your energy. I feel like they genuinely think that you're a beautiful person inside and out. It's not just about um, the physical connection you guys have with one another. I do feel like this person genuinely does love you. They genuinely do care about you. Um, you know, maybe they were just, maybe they were immature. Maybe they had some growing to do. And that's why, you know, these lies came into play. Maybe they felt confused. Maybe they were just really scared about love. Um, a lot of things could have came into play. Maybe this person has past traumas they needed to work on. Um, that was, you know, their blockages. But regardless of all of that, this person does feel like you are genuinely a, a beautiful person, okay? And they do love that about you a lot. <laughs> we have March. So maybe for some of you guys, this person's birthday's in March. Um, it could be maybe you met this person in March. Maybe you guys broke up in March. Um, there's something significant about March to this connection, okay? Um, you know, if the card doesn't apply, just let it fly. Um, but this could be a confirmation for someone watching. We have baby daddy. Oh, so, okay. So maybe, maybe this person is your baby daddy or maybe you're this person's baby daddy. Um, it could be, maybe this person is someone else's baby daddy. Maybe that's what this person was lying about. Um, there could be lies around that. Maybe, um, this person was lying about, you know, lying about the, the relationship they had with their baby daddy or something like that. Um, but yeah, or it could simply just be maybe this person wants to be your baby daddy or maybe they want you to be their baby daddy, okay? Maybe they, this person wants kids with you. But I definitely do feel like for some of you guys, um, there could have been something going on um, on like the sidelines, like with someone else. I definitely get third party energy going on. Maybe the, maybe there was a baby daddy that interfered, um, something. There's some, definitely, I feel like there was some type of third party energy going on, okay? And that's not going to be for everybody, but it's definitely for um, a select few. We belong together. I feel like this person realizes that they never felt this way about someone before. Um, and it's honestly making them really feel like you guys do belong together. They really genuinely feel like this connection um, came into their life for a reason. And that they were stupid for the way um, they treated the connection, for the way that they treated you. Um, because ultimately... They feel like you guys are meant to be. They they really could see they can see themselves spending their, their life with you. Like literally spending the rest of their life with you, having a family with you. And I feel like this person honestly kind of feels stupid right now. I feel like and that could be why they're not reaching out as well. Maybe they're embarrassed because they feel stupid. I honestly, I feel like they made a, some really stupid decisions. We have I'm a workaholic. So I feel like this person, um, I mean, granted, Leo, it could be you. Maybe you're being a workaholic. Maybe this person realizes that you're really just focused on work. Maybe, you know, maybe you're just really zoned in on, on work and progressing. Um, but I do also feel like this person could be, uh, could be a workaholic. I feel like um, this person could be pouring themselves into work to try to, like, get their mind off of this. Because I do feel like in their free time, they're completely, cons like, their thoughts are completely consumed with this situation. And I feel like they try to pour themselves into work to try to get their mind off of you. And I, d I don't think it works all the time, honestly. I feel like sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but, yeah, so now this person's, like, diving into work, um, trying to mask, in a sense, how they're feeling today <laughs> or any other day. Um, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah. We have tower moment. 
So definitely, I feel like it could be possibly that this person um, is going through a tower moment currently. Um, that could also be what's holding this person back right now. Maybe they're going through a tower moment um, and they want to do things the right way. And that could be why they're not coming forward. Maybe because they need to get things in line. For some of them, they maybe they're having financial issues and that's why they're being a workaholic right now. Um, but I definitely sense that some of them could be going through a tower moment currently. Um, if not currently, it could be shortly coming on its way um or maybe this connection is going to experience a tower moment it doesn't and a tower moment isn't something necessarily negative um a tower moment can actually be something very beautiful um and uplifting it's just simply an old structure being torn down um so a a stronger foundation and structure can be rebuilt um so it doesn't necessarily have to be this catastrophic crazy chaos type of moment okay that's not always the case sometimes it is sometimes it is but that's not always the case okay i still read our old messages i feel like this person reminisces a lot um i feel like this person um i feel like they sit around <laughs> and when they're like when you're like really really heavy on their mind they sit back and they read your love messages to them i feel like you guys had a lot of conversations through text messages and this person has never deleted them has never got rid of them um and and, and for this purpose literally because they like to read them i feel like it, in a sense kind of makes this person feel connected to you even though the messages are old um it, it, in a sense it kind of just it allows the person to kind of like feel your energy in a sense Ooh. We have ghosted. So maybe some of you guys were ghosted. Maybe some of you guys ghosted this person because of the lies that they told. But I definitely feel like some of you were actually ghosted by this person. Um, and that could be also what's holding them from reaching out. Because ultimately, they ghosted you. You didn't walk away from this. You didn't just stop talking to them. They stopped talking to you um, and never gave you answers. I love your hugs. This person loves when you hug them. I feel like um, some of you guys may actually have like a very healing type of energy. Some of you guys may be even light workers. And I feel like this person like feels that energy coming off of you, um, feels that healing energy from you. And I feel like when this person hugs you, it's like it's like time stops or like like everything just everything just stops. And I just feel like, you know, when you hug this person, it genuinely just feels very good to them. I can't stop loving you. I feel like this person has definitely tried to move on, definitely tried to like stop their feelings, um, stop their feelings in this connection. And they can't. I feel like this person tried to detach from you and they literally can't. I feel like you occupy their thoughts rent free, period. Okay. <laughs> rent free, Leo. And you're constantly on this person's mind. I feel like even if this person um, does have other connections going on currently, like, I feel like that's not even, like, something serious for them whatsoever. Um, I feel like, you know, that's just something to occupy them when they're bored, to be honest. Like, but I definitely feel like, the, and, and, and it's only because this person's not talking to you because they're scared to approach you. Um, they're scared of what your reaction is going to be. Um, but, yeah, they can't stop loving you. Eventually, I, I definitely sense that this... I kind of feel like this person's kind of like at their boiling point. Like, um, uh, they're like, their emotions are literally like boiling. And it's to the point now where they just, they can't, they can't fight it. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about this connection. Um, and they're going to act on it. We have anxiety. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person, um, definitely feel like this person is dealing with some anxiety. Um, and, you know, and, and their anxiety could also be a, another blockage added to this. I feel like all the blockages, honestly, is coming from their side. I don't feel like it's you, Leo, at all. I definitely feel like it's them. I'm not saying, Leo, you're just this innocent person, okay? But I will say that I definitely feel like um, this person is dealing with a lot of anxiety, especially because they know that they owe you an apology and they don't know what you're going to say, okay? Player... Didn't I say that I sensed third party energy? I definitely sensed like a third party situation. So I definitely feel like this person in the past was in a player type energy. I definitely feel like they that's the lies that they told surrounded that. I'm not saying that 
those are all the lies okay but i definitely feel like um there are some type of lies that are tied to this player energy I, like i said i feel like some of you guys definitely were dealing with a third party and that's just clear as day like even if it wasn't necessarily a third party i feel like this person overall was just a player had you know was playing the field maybe had a couple people um doesn't necessarily have to mean that they had like a whole relationship going on or something like that could just be possibly maybe they're just maybe they're super flirtatious um and things like that so you know just apply it to your situation i need you back in my life yeah leo this person definitely feels like they need you back i feel like they feel like incomplete without you around them without you um without you without having a connection to you like I, I feel like they feel incomplete and I, I feel like this person loves the way that they feel when they're with you um and they definitely regret the decisions that they made and I definitely feel like they regret that player energy um because you didn't deserve that I feel like you were a genuine person to this person and you genuinely loved this person um and gave to them I'm trying to make you mine Ooh. Oh, Leo, this person's going to come back and they're going to be giving you all that energy. Like this person is going to come back and they're going to fight for you, Leo. Even if you're not, even if when they first reach out to you and you're like, nope, I don't want to have none of this. I feel like this person's still going to try. I, I definitely don't feel like they're going to make one attempt and just be like, okay, well, Leo said no, no, no. This person's going to fight for you, Leo. <laughs> they're definitely, they're, they're coming back to fight for you. Um, and to, you know, make you theirs. I, this person really does want a future with you. But all right, Leo, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it resonated for you. If it did and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Come join our family. Um, and also give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps out the channel. Um, and I love you guys. I hope that you guys have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And I will see you guys later. Bye.